at Odium Airfield in Hampshire, over 1,100 officers, airmen and airwomen were on parade for the Royal Air Force Coronation Review by the Queen. The Duke of Edinburgh accompanied Her Majesty, who was attended by Lord Delisle and Dudley, Secretary of State for Air. This was the first royal review of the RAF since King George V's Silver Jubilee. Smartness on parade is something for which the youngest of the fighting services is justly famous. And on this great occasion, the turnout and the bearing of all concerned was clearly faultless. After the inspection, the march passed. This too was immaculate. That was in the morning, and while the Queen and His Royal Highness took luncheon in the officers' mess, over 300 aircraft, representing all RAF commands, awaited royal inspection. This static display, as it's called, was certainly most impressive, and in order to inspect machines and equipment assembled in such quantity and variety, Her Majesty and the Duke entered their car to drive along the lines. At many points, the Queen stopped to talk with officers in command of squadrons and to make a closer inspection of various aspects of this unique display. It was a five-mile tour that lasted an hour. Then they entered their car again to drive back to the saluting base. The Queen certainly seemed very pleased with all she had seen and was no doubt thrilled at the prospect of the great fly pass that was now about to follow. A Sycamore helicopter led this aerial parade, which was the biggest and most intricate in its organization that had ever been seen in Britain. From dozens of stations all over the country, aircraft of all commands, here are flying training command varsities, converged on these at Odium, and one can well imagine the exact timing that was necessary. Now Valettas fly over the airfield. Lincolns of Bomber Command. Altogether, nearly 650 aircraft flew past in salute to Her Majesty in this coronation display of British air power and flying skill. One of our cameramen flew with the RAF to obtain a pilot's view of the performance. As squadron after squadron came over, the speed of the fly pass mounted. Meteors now, and these were followed by Canberra bombers. Sabre jets, with their swept-back wings, recalled the work of these aircraft over Korea. These are sabres of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Then came swifts, with which the RAF is about to be equipped. And the very latest in jet bombers, the Victor, was there, making its first public appearance, an up-to-the-minute aircraft with a strange and menacing design. Now the Vulcan, another of Britain's newest bombers. And last of all, like a streak of lightning, the record-breaking supersonic swift.